Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Strange here, and today I have a uh, redstone tutorial for you. It's for a, what would be something like a wave machine for survival games and that. Uh, it'll work on the 360, it'll work on PlayStation, it'll work on the PC, uh, since they are almost all cut up with each other now, so uh, this is kind of the full, like, this is a much larger scale one that I made, because I uh, I was going to be making a map for uh, me and my friend, but uh, I'm going to show you how to do it over here. I'm not gonna, just going to throw it to you there. So uh, what we have here is I have the button there, which is just going to be the the input source that you can ha have from wherever, and then just the line of redstone coming in. So from here, uh, there's oh, there's also a few clarifications that I have beforehand. Uh, after beyond this little line here uh, the white blocks are going to have the uh, redstone dust on it the uh, nether brick blocks will have uh, repeaters on it and then the mossy stone and the wood blocks that I have here are for uh, blocks that are going to be pushed there's two different uh, kinds of those so that's why I have two different ones that are being pushed so uh what we do, so what you do is uh, you have this first split here. Go ahead and I'll go ahead and fill that all the way in. And what you're going to do is you are going to wait. I was one off. Oh, there we go. Put that in the wrong spot for a second. So what you want to do is you want to branch off about four, and then put full repeaters on three of them. Then what you're going to do is build stairs up. Oh, put an extra block there. And then you will come back across. Let me actually check how uh how far and everything on it. So, yeah, this is this is the made one. You're going to want to go up three different blocks and have uh I guess I sh I uh shortened this one up a little bit so that there was only uh four repeaters total going towards it. But uh you can ha you can have it either way. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to that real fast. Or no, I I'm actually gonna leave it where it is, and I'll rechange these uh, these blocks for you. All right. So once you have this, you uh, connect the redstone to each other, and then at the oh. This one's actually in the uh, wrong spot. And then what you have here is you will put a piston facing down on the edge of this block. And then uh, this one I will use the uh, wood because that one is going to get pushed. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, actually I'm going to uh, change this block here. Uh, there's multiple ways you can do it with... Uh, like pulling and pushing the redstone through blocks, but I just prefer to have uh, repeaters pushing into them. And uh, before we uh, complete, or yeah, before we keep going on, what what you're gonna do is have another little line come off to the side, about uh, two blocks or so, in which you can just have redstone form, and then put a block up at an angle like this. Uh, I'll I will sh show you why you do this a little bit later on, and uh, what you're going to want to do is have a uh, is have two repeaters on or two torches on top that will turn the top one of them off. That way, if I can show you real fast, uh, whenever you hit the button, the top one need a block there, I believe. So you're that, or I'm getting my yeah, there you go. It, it turned on. You saw it turn this redstone on here. I'll uh, I'll do this real fast just so I can show. So yeah, it turns the redstone on, on there, which in this case it will go back to dispensers for whatever you are going to do. So uh, <clears throat> I will uh, bring that around full circle. And uh, what what you want to do next is uh, for the future put I'm putting the uh, mossy there. Again, you can have all one type of block if you wanted to. 
it just helps a little bit to have everything color coordinated so um, with this block there you're gonna have you're gonna have two things coming off of it you're gonna have a piece of redstone there well actually you're gonna have uh, three things you're gonna have redstone there you're gonna have repeaters there and then you're gonna have a repeater off of here uh, I'll finish up I'll do this one real fast so you have repeater a piece of redstone dust and then four more repeaters and what it is is the first repeater is going to be is going to have no extra ticks to it these four repeaters will have uh, will be opened all the way so that there's the maximum delay and then what you do is you come up one more and then you then you reconnect the uh, redstone over to this one Oh, I already showed you with the button, but uh, what the button does is when it's normally up there, since these are delayed, the redstone that is being that is into this repeater here won't will uh, die by the time that this block goes down. So what you have on the first push, technically, is you have this first one going through, and then nothing else. But on the second one, you'll have the first wave going through. And then with these coming on a delay, you get a second one coming through. So that that's the reason behind those. Uh, I'm gonna continue on with the uh, next kind of stair stepping way that you have over here. Uh, it's really just the same pattern over and over for all this. It's just starting it is the thing that's a little bit hard. And then another piston. So uh, just wire this up, in which I actually need to open that one all the way too, just to be sure. And this is the the uh, most compact way of doing it, as far as I know. I've been I've been messing around with this for a while because, uh, as I said, I've been trying I've been uh, making a map, so I've been messing around a bit, seeing which ones work the best. Uh, if you see all the way over there, I did one just on flat ground, which doesn't help me so much in one of my uh, second aspects of doing this. But uh, in the meantime, what we'll do is uh, we'll replace those blocks down, and it's going to be almost the same pattern coming off of the uh, mossy cobblestone block. You're going to have two... <laughs> I might have did that wrong. All right, and actually, uh, on the second one, what you're going to want to do is before you do the stair, the full stair stepper, you want to from here on out, you want to go one more over to the side, and then start the uh, stair stepping up. And piston. So let me uh, replace everything there. Alright, so now coming off of uh, the mossy cobblestone here, what you're going to have on from here on to however many uh, waves you technically want to do, you have two things of redstone dust and then a repeater. Let me go ahead and place these down. So uh, I'll replace the mossy cobblestone just for you too. And uh, so. Uh, let's pretend like we already hit the button for the uh, first time. You hit it the second time, the power will go through, and again, you will have this the wooden block here pushed down after this repeater. Ooh, that one doesn't need to be open. Sorry about that. Uh, but after this repeater goes out of power, that way you won't continue on the uh, electrical current. And then uh, from here, it's really just the same. Oh, actually, I need to do this second part before I can start going through over all the same. But coming off of your second uh, mossy cobblestone block there, you're going to have the same thing as the first to where you have repeater, dust, and then th four open or fully opened repeaters. And then from here, what you're going to do is almost the same thing as you did on the first one was don't need that block is except everything you're gonna do is uh, I mean not everything but the only thing you're gonna do is just reconnect these two 
uh, parts together with all the dust here. And uh, with the timing of how everything is, what will happen is you have your first current going through, then your second one will go through, and then your third one will go through. And I believe this is as close to as perfectly timed as you can get if you want one right after another. Uh, of course, you can make it longer if you always wanted to. If you want to increase the number of uh, repeaters you have here, you can make it as long as as long as you want to change the delay on it. Uh, I don't think you can go any shorter because then the currents will catch up to each other, and from there, that's you only have one current that goes per uh, button hit. So, uh, what I'm going to do here is actually make a few more of them real fast since. It is the same pattern from here on out with uh, in terms of building. So I'll build a few more and uh, a little extra something that I wanted to do and then I will be right back. Alright, so as you see I did this uh, two more extra times but there's one little change that I made to it. This is just an extra if you say wanted to up the difficulty or add in a second set of dispensers or whatever you're using to or whatever you're using this for but uh, what it is is basically as your way back over here you have the same thing as the beginning is to where what you'll do is you will stack some quartz up put the uh, well, stack your block up and then put a second uh, a second redstone uh, can't think of the technical name for it there but uh you can have the second one of that and uh, actually I'm going to go ahead and build this over to a second area over here because uh, I'm actually gonna have like a little type of demonstration it's gonna I mean it's not gonna be uh, showing the zombies and everything because uh, I'm on peaceful so I don't wanna they aren't gonna spawn on them they aren't gonna spawn in and just disappear so I'm just gonna use uh probably sheeps and pigs or something like that and uh, so yeah what the reason that I uh, put this repeater here you can do it you can technically do it either way but the reason I have here is so you have as of right now there's one current in there's a second current there's three and then this would be the fourth one with this one here it would be the fifth but if this was a piece of redstone then this fourth one would also have the secondary uh, current going through it. But for me putting this here on uh, with a repeater facing this way, it'll the current will only come in from the fifth, and then it will just continue on like the rest. So uh, from here, I guess I'll make the uh, dispensers real fast. Um, that is my phone. Oops. Uh, sorry about that. Let's see, uh, da, 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 da. grab some lava, get some dispensers going, and spawn eggs. Yep, yeah, spawn eggs are here. Uh, pig. Actually, needed full stack and sheep. Nope, not a full one. I am still not used to uh, this the uh, creative menu in uh, the 360 yet and that's that's just how I am though um I think I'll have enough sheep in there for now but uh just gonna actually I don't I don't need to build a pool lava it won't really matter too much so uh I as you can see everything's reset uh, ready to go there should be five total waves of everything and in this first wave you'll see uh, one sheep come out. This one you'll have two sheeps coming out. This one you'll have three. Oh, got a different colored one there. You have four. And then this last one will have five and a pig for our added difficulty. So there's two sheep and then the pig. You're down to three, four, and then five. Ooh, round sheep too. 
Pig is somehow still alive. Oh, they have they have ten health compared to eight. I forgot about that. Okay, now on to the part where I almost uh, forgot to do. Um, the reason that I have the mossy uh, cobblestone and the sticky pistons, it is for a reset. So what you're going to do is have, uh, you're going to go down a couple so that you have, actually, needed to put that right there. So that what you have is a sticky piston on top, on the underside facing up towards the, uh, Mossy cobblestone that you have there. Ooh, let me get up a little bit higher. Uh, still messed it up. Oh well. Kemp. Kemp. There we go. Don't know why that was giving me some trouble there. All right. And so what I'm gonna do is uh, wire all these together real fast. Uh, just something nice and simple like this. And oh. Let me go ahead and actually wire it. And so what's going to happen is what you can do with this button all the way out, or with a button all the way over here, let me grab one real fast, is if you, if you have this going to a separate set of buttons near the end, you want to say, to where you want to reset it, what happens is all the blocks here are down and what you're going to do is you hit the reset button and it all is back up and ready for use another time and then if you ever wanted to uh, reset it in the middle it would matter because the uh, sticky pistons would only do that that's that's all for this redstone tutorial. If you liked it, please uh, be sure to give it a like and subscribe. Later.